everyone, Nat here from the Traveling Foxes and we are on the way to Saudi Arabia and I am with me. It's our first time to travel together, I'm super excited. Um, and I'm also very excited to go to Saudi because this will be my first time. I want to share with you all what it's like to travel to Saudi Arabia, especially Riyadh, um, from a female traveler's perspective. So, just kidding, this <laughs> First off, I want to thank Mickey for inviting me to this trip. Business class, super awesome. Nine hour flight, nine hour, ten hour flight. And... It's actually mixed second time. Is there anything you want to share with us before, especially for me? What should I expect as a female traveler? <laughs> so as a female traveler going to Saudi for the first time, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, you know, we've been fed with different um, information uh, regarding like, the Middle East. So we had this kind of misconception of already like you know, this type of um, uh, image before going there, but when you actually get there, you might actually be your thoughts or preconceived um, opinions or images of Saudi will actually be challenged. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll yeah. wait until you actually get there, but you'll be, I'd say, pleasantly surprised. Okay, so we've landed in Riyadh Airport and we're making our way to the hotel now. in my room and it's so big wow I am so amazed I can't wait to sleep it is like 6 a.m. Philippine time but I want to show you guys around this is my room <laughs> hey so the toilet I just want to stay here so I need to catch some rest because we have a full day tomorrow and we're going to be touring and also have the dinner gala for the opening day of the tourism here in Saudi Arabia. Tonight I just want to sleep. Good morning everyone. So today we are going to do a heritage tour and we'll be visiting two popular spots. I uh, just want to show you my view from my window. Yes, it's so pretty. <sighs> Before I leave the room, you guys may be wondering why I'm just very modestly uh, covered arms, covered legs, and some covers under the dress. As a tourist, you don't actually have to dress like this, but I am planning to dress like this for the Instagram photos. You don't want to stand out too much by wearing what is not normally worn here. So um, as long as you wear anything loose, a loose top, loose jeans, nothing very body hugging, nothing too showy, of course. But if you want to blend in with the culture, why not dress like a local? So I'm going to get going and I'm excited to show you guys the rest of Riyadh. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum, marhaban bikum fi mamlaka al-arabiya al-saudiya ila qariya tsudus tarikhiya. Tabu ila. No idea what he said, but he said, welcome guys. <laughs> and I'm here now with... Sarah! Hi Sarah! Sarah. Hello. Hello. Um, one thing here in Riyadh, uh, you have to be cautious as a tourist uh, where you point your camera because a lot of people don't want their photos or videos taken. So luckily here in the markets, there's no one yet uh, because the markets only open during Fridays, um, just before and after prayers. Um, that's the mosque over there and there's no one here yet. So. I get to I get the freedom to just go around and take some videos with the food. It looks so fresh and good. Okay, so we've made it to our second destination. <laughs> So this is like a lookout spot? Yeah, so it's called Al Margab. Uh, in the past, they use uh, some soldier to protect the village. They stay inside to look at the enemy, the people. It's come from outside. Yeah, let me go inside. Whoa, it's a bit tiny. Ooh, I fit. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'm not very used to wearing a lot of clothes and a lot of pieces of cloth. I actually lost my hijab already. I was just walking around and I realized I lost my hijab, so I had to go back. Oh yeah. We got snacks at the back of the car. Also, and dates. the most, the important thing is this. This is it's what we you. need <laughs> because it's so hot. It's like it's 40 for you. degrees. Thank you. You are ready. Hello. This is for you. Thank you. I you got a date. Welcome. Can I get a yeah. date in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> this is the castle of Sudos. It has two doors to protect the village. If the enemy cross one door, he has to the other one, he can cross it. So, one, this is the one, and this is the other one. Welcome to the village. Enjoy. nice thing about this place is that there are a lot of doors and they're all painted really beautifully Ta and then I'll go to another door it's gonna get dark and then that's another one so they all have their own special paintings and we're just gonna go upstairs to have a look wow wow look at that we're currently at the top of the castle. Check out that view, it's so amazing. Camels are blocking the road. Yeah, hi guys. What's up, you guys? Welcome to my vlog with my vlog squad. So we've been going around in circles because we can't find the one car that uh, knows the direction on where to take the best sunrise photo. But I mean, it's all right. It still looks so beautiful here. I think it's all the photos will look beautiful anywhere we take it, so I'm super excited. edge of the world I didn't vlog much because we were all so tired we finished from the gala at 10 30 p.m. and I had to wake up at 2 a.m. to get going to the edge of the world so I hope you guys enjoy the cinematic version not a lot of talking there now before I go and visit the other historical sites around Riyadh I want to answer a few questions about the common misconceptions about female travelers when traveling to Saudi Arabia 
So the first question is, as a female traveler, you have to come to Saudi Arabia with a, with a guardian or a companion. And that is absolutely a misconception. You can come here as a solo traveler if you wanted to. You don't need a guardian. There are a lot of solo female travelers who traveled here and it is pretty much safe for you. And my experience here, um, although I was in tours, uh, meeting with the locals, it feels very safe. For me, it feels like traveling to other parts of the Middle East. Um, haven't had any problems. I've been to three different countries already and to me Saudi Arabia is no different from the others. Second question, do you need to cover your face and wear a burqa wherever you go? And as a traveler or a tourist you do not need to. As you can see from the previous videos, I did not wear a burqa wherever I went. I didn't wear a headscarf. I am only doing it for the gram and I also liked wearing it because it was super hot when we were touring around, so it was almost like my cap. So you do not need to wear one if you don't feel like wearing one. The third question is, you need to be covered up um, so you don't get harassed. And just like any other country in the world, especially if you're a solo female traveler, it is important to not show too much skin. Here in Saudi Arabia, it is important to dress modestly. And you can see from my attire, it's long, at least covered to the ankles. Um, if possible, and no tight-fitting outfits. Again, it's respecting their culture. It's got nothing to do with being harassed. It's just dressing as much as possible like the locals. You'll actually feel out of place if you wear something tight, so I would avoid it when coming to Saudi Arabia. Next question is, are you allowed to be seen with unrelated men? So that is solo female travelers who go there and meet people, or couples who are unmarried and travel to Saudi Arabia? And the answer is, it's fine. You don't need to be married uh, with the person that you are having lunch with or dinner with um, when traveling here. So I can go to the coffee shop, meet a friend, a guy friend, and have a conversation with him. So that is not a problem. You can come here with your friends, you can come here with your boyfriend, or you can come here with your husband if you wanted to. The next one is, are women allowed to rent cars? And yes, we need cars for traveling, and yes, you can rent a car. The first expat was granted her driver's license not too long ago, so if you end up living here in the future, then as a woman, you are able to drive and hold a driver's license as well. Another one, is Saudi safe for solo female travelers? And as I mentioned earlier, um, while meeting with the locals, I really feel safe here. I don't feel any sort of disrespect. Um, you are treated nicely as long as you are respectable as well. Um, it goes both ways, right? You can't just be going around yelling at people and expect respect in the end. Um, people are very friendly and because they've recently opened their borders to tourism, um, you can see the effort will be put in there to make it an experience for all of you guys. And the last question I got is, is Saudi for everyone? And I would say yes, Saudi is such a big country, there is so much to offer. I mean, at this stage, a lot of the tourism is still being developed, um, but if you are one of the first comers, you would get to experience everything before all the influx of tourism comes. So if I were you and you enjoy traveling to new places, Saudi Arabia is perfect because it's got a lot of adventures, um, especially for people like me who enjoy adventures. This is such a great place to go. And sooner or later, Saudi Arabia will be developing into having more tourist destinations in the future. But if you want to check out the nature and the historical parts of Saudi Arabia, then this is the best time. So if you guys have any other questions, do hit me up um, in the comment section below. I have to get going. I have another five minutes before I need to check out and check the rest of Riyadh. It is such a hectic trip, but I'm enjoying it so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog as much as I enjoyed creating it. And I'll see you guys at the historical sites. Bye. Thank you so much for watching another video from the Traveling Foxes and a big shout out to Mickey 
um, for inviting me to this trip and also the tourism board of Saudi Arabia. Um, such a beautiful country, would come here again for more adventures. Thanks guys and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get updated on our latest videos. Bye!